What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you so much for the continued support. Now, most guitar players have that one guitar that they can't go without. I know I probably have a few that I can't go without. But uh, even further, some guitar signature sounds are not only due to their skill, but the actual tools themselves that they use. So today I want to look into some of the most iconic guitars around and the artist that made them famous. Tom Morello's Arm the Homeless Custom Guitar. Now Tom Morello had this guitar custom made for him and at first he hated it. He tried all different kinds of modifications to make it a better guitar, but eventually decided to just make what he had sound cool. And I think we all know how that ended up. Uh, Tom Morello, probably one of the uh, most original sounding guitar players with his own voice out of uh, just about anyone I can think of, including you know anything from laser sounds to heavy drop D riffs all the way to DJ scratching. I've never heard a guitar player make it sound so much like a DJ scratching a record, and it's very cool stuff. Anyway, he's personally customized this guitar with uh, the words Arm the Homeless on it, as well as uh, drawings of hippos. Uh, if anyone knows what the hippos uh, represent, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Kurt Cobain's Fender Jagstain. This guitar was actually rarely played by Cobain, but he custom designed it as a combination of Fender's Jaguar and Mustang guitars. I dig the light blue paint job with the red pick guard. I think it really stands out as a gorgeous guitar. I also think Kurt Cobain brought a popularity back to the Fender guitar for the heavy guitar player. And obviously, people are still foaming at the mouth over the Jaguar and Mustang looks. People still want that guitar. Angus Young's Jade SG. Angus Young had this guitar built for him by JD Custom Guitars, and it looks exactly like his previously played SG. Of course, since he's a driving force in ACDC, he added lightning bolts. Hello, lightning bolts to the neck. <laughs> you gotta have lightning bolts. Now, because of his iconic sound being associated with the SG, its popularity rose considerably. That brings us to Prince's Cloud Guitar. Now, the Cloud was built and used in the film Purple Rain. Definitely has a lot going for it. It's small, sexy, curvy curvy and sexy, and comes in a variety of colors. This is the kind of guitar you could only ever associate with Prince. Next, we have Rick Nielsen's Five Neck Guitar from Cheap Trick. Well, five necks, why have five necks? Well, one, there's only one, you have four more, four more necks. That's four more necks of rock playing. All kidding aside, this guitar takes the cake when it comes to guitars that you can't help but associate with one person. Rick Nielsen had the guitar designed basically for the heck of it, you know, four more necks is better than one. He typically only uses one or two of the necks on the guitar, and since the bottom two get utilized so infrequently, his roadie has only ever tuned them once or twice. <laughs> As you can see, there are some crazy cool guitars out there, but at the end of the day, they're only the instruments musicians use to make unbelievable music. Each guitarist has their own style, I could take any guitar to new heights with the right amount of creativity. Remember, in almost all professions, it's not always the tools you have, but how you use them. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you dug this video, go ahead and share it with your friends. If you have an iconic guitar that I left out, please leave it in the comments below. Any song requests as well or other videos you'd like to see, let me know. Thanks for supporting Marty Music, and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.